The day before the All-Star break and a couple of teams still waiting for some future Hall of Famers. Hi and welcome to the Daily Sports Update presented to you by Toyota here on CBSSports.com. I'm Amber Wilson. Last night was the last night of games before the NBA takes its All-Star break. And the last game of the night featured two of the top teams in the West, both of who are going through some changes. Last week, the Phoenix Suns shook things up by sending four-time All-Star Sean Marion to the Heat along with Marcus Banks for Shaquille O'Neal. And of course, Wednesday, Dallas and New Jersey agreed to a deal that would land Jason Kidd back with the team he started his career. But Shaq hasn't played yet. He's still getting into condition after a hip injury. The 13-time All-Star will be missed at the All-Star game. He's set to return to the hardwood after the break. In Dallas's case, it's a little bit more complicated. Their trade hasn't gone through yet because Devin George, one of the expiring contracts being sent to New Jersey, blocked the deal and kept everyone put for now. So Dallas didn't have the point guard they wanted, but the Suns absolutely did. And not only Steve Nash, but his backup, Leandro Barbosa. The two Phoenix point guards combined for 50 points, 14 assists, and 12 rebounds as the Suns rolled to the 109-97 victory, leaving them just percentage points behind New Orleans for the best record in the West. Dirk had a second monster game in as many days, 37 points Wednesday night, 36 points Thursday in the losing effort, but all eyes were still on Devin George. A bit of an improvement from his 0-11 night. He actually scored seven points on Thursday and two block shots, neither of those blocks as big as the one he had late Wednesday night. I mean, I don't think the trade is going anywhere. I think it's, it's right there, but it's kind of messed up how I'm, all the fingers are pointing at me and, you know, the, I'm the bad guy now that is holding things up and I'm doing this and that, but I'll be that. In the only other game last night, the Heat lost for the 24th time in 25 games. This time to the Chicago Bulls. Dwayne Wade had 30 points and Sean Marion chipped in 23, but it wasn't enough. As Kirk Heinrich came up off the bench and put up 24, and the Bulls were able to hold off Miami 99-92. Chicago, who played without Luol Deng, Ben Gordon, and Ben Wallace, who had a death in his family, enters the All-Star break 10 games under 500, but just a game and a half out of a playoff spot. A couple weeks ago, it was the Lakers who were making the big deal, getting Pau Gasol to fortify their front court, but now they might be facing a loss that would be next to impossible to try to replace. Kobe Bryant was diagnosed with a torn ligament in his right pinky finger Thursday. He has decided not to undergo surgery that could sideline him for up to six weeks, at least for now. Kobe injured the finger on February 5th and aggravated it in Wednesday night's win against Minnesota. He'll rest it for now and the monitor its progress. He's dropped out of the three-point contest in New Orleans on Saturday, and it's unclear whether he'll play in Sunday's All-Star game. A day after Roger Clemens was in Congress disputing doping allegations from the Mitchell Report, Major League Baseball got another scare. A typo in court papers regarding Barry Bonds filed late Thursday night by federal prosecutors started the rumor that Bonds had failed a drug test in November of 2001, one month after breaking the season home run record. The mistake prompted at least one erroneous report that was quickly posted to websites around the country. And in the NFL, Bill Parcells continues his complete overhaul of the Miami Dolphins. Thursday, seven-time Pro Bowl linebacker Zach Thomas was the latest victim to the rebuilding project. Thomas played all 12 seasons in the NFL with the Dolphins, but missed most of 2007 with concussions. He joins veterans like Trent Green and Marty Booker to be released this week. And one final note in closing, Northern Illinois University has canceled all of its athletics competitions, both home and away, scheduled for this weekend in the wake of Thursday's tragic school shooting on NIU's campus in DeKalb. And that'll do it for the daily sports update presented to you by Toyota. Keep your mouth right here at CBSSports.com. I'm Amber Wilson.